so welcome to our first video tutorial so what you'll do is you will type in swift star technology so you'll do a google search uh, for swift star technology like that and um, that is us over there so it's the first one that will pop up or you can just go in here and type in swiftstartechnology.co.za that's in the url box over here at top or you can do it this route where you then click on to go to the website once you do that you'll come to the screen over here you'll see we've got a couple of tabs here i'm not going to go into each of that because that doesn't fall within the scope of this video um, so what you'll do to start creating your own website without writing a single line of code it's very very simple you will go to you'll see we've got web hosting resellers hosting ssl web uh, build your own website no technical skills required so that's the one you like to choose you'll see we've got it's it's quick and easy to use you can choose from uh, hundreds of designs literally um, and build a professional website so let's get started guys so let's just check out the plans what we've got there so it starts from 44 and 52 per month right and uh, the first thing you want to do is when you when you want to uh, create your own website is um, you want to choose a domain name right so you want to choose a domain name but before we get into that I want to show you how simple it is so let's just go over to the demo over here you click view de view demo so click view demo over there so so that it will sort of open up in that page over there uh, while that's busy loading view the view demo is busy loading let's just have a look over here our plans we've got our combo site right so you've got a five page website um, web space is two gig which should be enough um, if you're not going to have any videos loaded on to the website and things like that that should be more than enough it should actually even um, carry a couple of videos um, depending on the size of the videos then the data transfer is, is unmeted that's a bit technical we'll get into that at a later stage or you can just pop me an email um, or comment below if you want me to go into that um, and email accounts you'll get 10 email accounts which is wonderful so you can have your your business info you can have admin you can have your own email account and then if you have employees you can have one for each of them as well and then yeah that is the price uh, it's um, one year at 44 and 52 per month so you'll click on buy now we will do that at the later stage uh, once I've, I've, I've showed you the demo how it actually works and then here we've got a 50 pager so this is the five pager and this is the 50 pager the only difference between the two is obviously the pricing you'll see this one is um, one uh, 110 rand and 28 cents per month um, you this is a 50 page plan so it's quite a big website you'll have a lot of pages on there and um, the space also you get five five gigs of, of space on there so yeah you can go through these if you'd like to um, this is just some points to, to, to say exactly uh, what you'll be getting with each package but I'm going to show you so that you don't have to actually go through and read. you can if you want to of course okay so when you click on this view demo over here you'll come to because this is not a a live site it's a demo site right that we're going into so you'll get this message um um because we we don't have an ssl certificate on loaded onto the site because it's it's just a demo site you can just click send anyway when you do get that message and then we just wait for for the demo to open the view demo as I said you can do the view demo or you can just watch the video and just purchase right away after you've watched this particular video so then you don't have to sort of go through the, the, the demo so once you've once you've click view demo you'll see you first thing you're going to select your theme right so depending on what type of business you have you'll select the theme here, uh, a theme here sorry so you'll see we've got a couple of themes over here you can just scroll through and see this is for like sort of more businessy this is more art artistic this is more for nature um, yeah this is like if you were a law firm so there's different themes for different businesses because obviously different businesses this is like if you have a party planner or, or anything or 
like that this is for a coffee shop or a cafe which is pretty awesome i think we're gonna i'm gonna install that theme and actually do that theme because that that looks pretty awesome um yeah this is for like if you're selling sunglasses or whatsoever this is like for an npo or ngo it looks like so let's let's choose the coffee theme so you'll click install your theme this is also the way it's going to uh, the way it will be when you actually okay wait what's that going is error message why i'm missing okay it's, it's loading i guess because i clicked double so we'll wait for the theme to load over there oops that should not happen let's go back took too long to respond right so let's see hmm technology is failing <laughs> us but let us be patient and just wait I'll probably just cut the video so that you guys don't have to sit through all of this so let's just go to view demo again and wait for the little site to load let's I'm just yeah, installing this again here. Yeah. I really want to work with. Oh, awesome! Okay, so I guess second time's a charm. <laughs> okay, now it shows it gave us a different one. We don't want that one, we want the coffee one. Hmm, doesn't want to give us what we want. I want some coffee. Okay, just wait. okay let's just work on this one so this is sort of quite plain very simple simplistic but let's go go through it so yeah you'll put in your business title like my business so that's the name of your business right and yeah the subtitle so probably like your 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 slogan or your or your um um ups slogan or let's just say this this is what we do right okay and then welcome to our website here yeah, you can describe your website it's it's pretty well, pretty straightforward customize your website easy so yeah you can say whatever you if you want to put in um, anything there um you can let's just see if you'd like to just play around here so if you want to change the font yeah you could right so you could change it to i think you should select it all first and then you change it too so that you see you've changed the font um let's just select all i just clicked Control a you can do it with the and then you change the size let's say we want we wanted that size and let's say you want to cut that part out you can do so oh yeah this is awesome you can put in a YouTube video if you like to you can put in so what you'll do is you'll just put in the URL of the YouTube video like the link like let's say you go to YouTube and we're just going to choose the first thing that pops up so let's say you um, have a little YouTube video then you this is awesome because of your your desk space that you have on the website if you do want to display a video on here then you don't have to host the video on this website so it doesn't take from your desk space you can just put in a link to that um, that particular video let's just take this one because um, I always listen to, to this music. It's pretty awesome. so yeah let's just take that for instance where are we okay there we are oops there we are so then you'll put in the link over there and you'll say okay let's see so you'll see there the video is that you've now just put a link of that video onto the website um you can also just see okay yeah well we won't be able to form it because of the size over here unless we take this one completely out let's oust this one 
so we would then click over that's mine we'll click over there so that's a little button um the the little settings button over there so you'll click on that if you want to edit revise or if you want to add anim animations which i'll show you just now but let's say we want to remove this um yes we do want to remove it okay and let's say we want to remove completely okay cool there we go so then that then you'll have um let's say this oops okay let's say just type in just type in here this is where i explain everything so please please watch the video and then i suppose we could take that out because that's not necessary and we can also remove that Oops, did we remove our entire video now let's just do it like that okay there we go so you can play around with it you can see there is quite a bit that you can do um for you to play around with and then um let's say we want to we the okay mm. okay cool so let's say we wanted to add animation to it so let's say when when uh, the screen loads like you'll see on here let me just show you in an example that's not the animation but this sort of is so when the screen loads then it, uh, everything falls into it at either slides in or it slides up or it, it it does some sort of animation so if you want something like that then what you can say okay so let's say fade down that's the one we want to choose so oh yeah it's actually an example of how it how it works so if you want to slide in from the left or if you wanted to fade in slower or if you wanted to bounce up so let's say we wanted to bounce up you see so that is what will happen when the video is loaded so this is your home page you can then um also you can edit this so you can say into your own copyright so you'll say um my business which is the name of your company um and then so that's copyright my business 2021 so you can put that in there or whatever else you'd like to put in um you can literally change everything and anything on here um you just need to get used you just need to get the hang of it and you can also animate this by just clicking on this or hovering on wherever you want to edit you can hover over and then um, click on the this the settings page pane here that will enable you to to um to select whatever you want to edit if you want to pin it so that it doesn't go anywhere you can pin this component to multiple pages and edits made to pin components will apply to all this is useful for components that you want to appear on many pages so yeah you can pin it if you want to say let this page display on every other page um and you don't want to redo the de design or customize it again you can actually pin it and then go to the next page you just click on the next page it's very very simple um yeah you can edit whatever you want to edit so let's say we, we we've pinned this actually let me just go back and pin it so let's say we have pinned this so we have it on it and we pin it pin component yes 
okay so you you want yeah you select where you want to pin it to so let's say you want to pin it to about because you want it to display on about as well you can as you can see you can pin it on as many pages you can pin it on all pages it, it just depends on you okay so let's let's now go to the about page and um go edit the about page okay so is pinned oh, okay it's pinned to which page okay pinned to about okay okay Go to about cool. Cool. So now you've pinned it to the about page. You'll see that it is your automatically without you having done anything. It's just automatically came over to your about page. Um, as per every other page, you can edit here. You can make the changes. You'll see because this is your. Okay, because this is your your um, the this top part over here. That's sort of the theme of it. So it will be the same on each and every page, right? You can edit your different pages, but this will stay this will stay the same. So here you've got a nice contact form. You've got your 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 contact details, which you can then edit um, just by simply typing it in. So you can just have it on here and then type in again. Um, uh, this is my address whatever your address is and then you can type in the the details there the the relevant details your email address and also a contact form this is an awesome contact form but which you which um you can have on here so that when uh, the when uh, customers do come on or, or, or prospects do come on the page they can fill in the contact form and that will go to your email address which um which will which you'll configure um um once you've you've done the, the purchasing as well um let's just see and then yeah if you have a blog you can have this this blog you can um, edit the blog as well that depends on if whether or not you have a blog that you would like to do and this up oh, this is also and you can also animate this this the, the the menu bar over there you can animate that as well um, let's just the system is, is, is being a bit silly so let's just give it some time to calm down so yeah so you can have that animated as well you'll see that is what happens so it's pretty awesome you can do you can do quite a bit with this let's just um, see the page settings so let's say you want to add a con you want to add content or layouts you can wait for the system to load and it's, the system is quite slow so good okay so yeah you can add um, if you want to add another text box to write in if you want to add Java or HTML script that is um, a bit more complex we'll cover that in the scope of the next video we will go deeper into that you can add a single button if you want to add a button that goes wherever you can add that in you can add google maps for instance you want to put in your address let me actually just show you how this will work so let's just place that over there right and
and then you put in your address so let's put in bow bow Let's put in Marvel. Keep down. Okay, cool. So the location. So for the location, you go into the settings, the settings bar over there. Then you click settings. Then you will see okay the name. Let's say Belleville, Cape Town, South Africa, right? So let's say that's the the address that you want in. Then you'll go over here. Okay, let's save that first. It says, okay. You should have saved it. Sorry, let's just go back. Settings. Because you can see it's still not showing us the proper address. So we go to the settings again. Just have it over here. Make sure that we are under okay settings. Then location. Find location. So you will put in your location over here. So let's just find our location. Powerful. Let's just search for our address. Ooh, there we go. So that's quite broad because um, it's like highlighting the entire power wall. So let's just take, let's just take, um, what shall we take? Let's take four trigger. Four trigger. Let's just say number 10, just for intersect. I don't know what address that is, but let's just take that. Okay, cool. So there you go. So let's let's say that's your address, then you put that over there. And wonderfully, it shows your address. And once again, you can pin this. Um, I think it sh should be a good idea for us to pin this to the contact us page, right? So let's pin it to the contact us page so that it shows on the contact contact us page and maybe also on the about page show so that it shows on there okay so that's pin so that is how you add a, a, a content or a layout so you can add basically um, anything in there you can add another contact form in there you can add a button if you want to add a button maybe you want to add a button that goes to a different um, a different website or different URL or maybe you have a different another website that you want to add in there you can if you if you work with ad mobs or, or if you have ads you can add um html script as i said we'll cover that in the scope of the next video so please please subscribe to this video
and um, make sure that you subscribe and that you like this video so that you'll get updates when I upload a new video and new content so that you can keep up to date. You can also email me if you're specifically looking for, um, for, for if, you, if you are busy editing your website and you get stuck, you can email me as well. Um, my, um, you can email developer at swiftstartechnology.co.za. That should also be in the, the, the link below. You can email or you can also just go to the swiftstartechnology.co.za website and um, go to our website over there and just scroll all the way down and contact. You click on contact and you can fill in the contact form um, and then um, I'll also you can put in your, your query or your request over there. Um, we also do we do one on one classes. So if you want one on one classes especially, you can also contact us and I'll get back to you. Um, for that, then we'll cover the entire scope. This is e-commerce, which is also awesome. So if you have products that you would like to sell on your on the website, you can do that as well. You can contact me for for that as well. I will do a video tutorial on that as well, but um, at the later stage, um, because that is quite that is quite a huge scope that we need to cover cover there. But if you want me to to um, if you want if you want us to do a one on one, we can do a virtual one on one. You can contact me for that as well. I am available for that. So let's just close that up over there. And let's see, manage website. So what, what, we've, what we've gone through is pretty basic, right? So this is pretty basic. This is like for you to just get started, for you to just put the most important things that you need on your website on there. So that is that is what this video sort of covers and then um, we will we will get deeper into it with the more videos we, we do the deeper we'll get into it um, but this is sort of just the basics just for you to get started I don't want you bom to bombard you with too much information and I don't want to make the video too long so that you also don't get uh, get intimidated because I do understand that it does get scary I just want to do the edit background right because this is like quite important as well so maybe you want a different image in there you can choose an image from your you can choose an image from um, the stock library you can choose you can upload an image if you have one on on your on your um, device and um, you can yeah so let's do the stock library and see what they've got there another thing to note is also you can actually do this entirely from your phone as well you don't have to use a laptop you can do it from your phone which is pretty awesome so you can literally design your website from your phone um I just wanna what happened now okay let's just let's just do this again choose image So let's, okay, we're waiting for it to load. It's taking quite some time to load. Okay, so there's the stock library. Um, it has loaded. So there's a lot of pictures you can choose from here for your background. It just depends on your style, the type of website, the type of business that you are busy editing or busy busy um, creating. Um, we don't have. A, okay, you can also search here. So let's search for party or bubbles, and since, since that is the theme that we seemingly went with. cool so let's say we want this image i just chose the first one because i'm not gonna wait for okay cool so there uh, well it doesn't look that good. <laughs> it doesn't look that good because the 
background is a bit so let's just search for another one So let's just take that. I wonder if we can do if we can undo we should be able to hmm so let's just choose this one Hopefully it's going to actually make the changes. Okay, let's just say restore because we want to take it back to the way it was before okay so now we've restored it we've taken it back the way it was before but if you have a um yeah if you want to change the the background image you can change the background image it's just i don't like the options that are available but yeah that's how you change the back background image you can also upload your own your own image as i said Okay, so you can choose from here, you can type in there whatever you want to do. To, to whichever topic or whichever keyword you can search for and then make the necessary changes. You can also change the background color. So you can, right now it's clear, but you can, you can, let's say you want for a very odd reason, you want that. You can do that if you like, if you want. If you like that pattern, you can do it. You'll see it, it will be the same on every each and every page. So you you can do that as well. Um, but let us just leave it as is. Let's just restore it and just leave it as is. Good. So yeah, that is that is basically that is basically it um, for this video. That is creating your own your very own website very simple um it's 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 you literally don't have to write any code as i said we will get a bit deeper into like editing css editing um theme source code that is a bit more technical because you need to have like css is background and you need to work with you need to know about html and things like that so we will get into that at a later stage um if you if you'd like if you don't want to wait for the new videos to come out and you want that content asap then you can let me know and we'll schedule a one-on-one -on -one. we can do a virtual one-on-one -on -one. um we'll go into um site seo that is important for while well, you've got this beautiful website now you want people to find your website how do they do that um, um besides you sending them the link you can um 
you can do we, we will go into the site um sao you can link your account guest books that's very important especially if you have a guest house and things like that and not only just if you have a guest house um for if you want to load your 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 your, your website visitors if you want to keep track of that that's important for that visitors comments as well so we'll get into that all of that at the later stage um, um if you want to have that covered immediately you can contact me and we will i can walk you through step by step um in one hour sessions um and it will all be virtual it will all be be online um yeah so what you do is you can fill in the contact form over here or you can whatsapp us you can also just click this link right here from your phone and it will go straight to our whatsapp or you can email us that's info at sourcestartechnology.co.za and yeah that's 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 it for this video if you are excited about what we um what we can do please please do um like and subscribe to this video okay so let's go into how you actually how you actually choose your plan so now you know how to create your website now you know what to do so let's say you want to buy now you choose you come here you click on buy now if you have a domain name already you can put in your domain name right if you don't have a do domain name and you want to buy one you can buy one from us so let's say you want to buy the domain my business because that was the name of your website right so Okay, so now you'll see, you'll, you've searched now mybusiness.com because that is the domain name that you'd like. And then you see, well, it's mybusiness.com is not available. You can have my.business. And this is all annual prices, right? Um, so you'll choose your show more results. You'll choose, you'll see, okay, let's say you want .co.za because we're in South Africa. Okay, that's unavailable so you just have to sort of find a d domain name that's that is available because when it's unavailable that means somebody has already secured that domain name oh this is my new business that's here that's it, that is available so you will then select select that Okay, you also see that um, we've got a discount, awesome discount on mynewbusiness.space. So maybe you want to do mybusiness.space. Um, let's say mybusiness.space. You want to choose that domain because um, there's a special on that domain for 24 and 42 cents. That's... Um, Annually, okay, that's actually not available. So let's just stick to my new business then. Let's see how that's it, eh? So obviously your company name will hopefully not be taken. It will be available because that's your company name, right? So then you secure the domain. You so you selected. You've selected that domain. For your business you 
now you go to checkout so now you see you've got your domain name which means when you go into your website builder now and bold and create it will be registered to this domain so when users type in my new business they will see this beautiful site that you have now created right with all of your details also you can this is now your business website and uh, your domain name it's yours now for the next year you only need to um you only need to um refurbish it uh by next year so you'll only need to uh update the thing and um, um re repurchase it next year again for the same amount of 85.89 hopefully without inflation and things like that and then you'll see this is the site builder right also for one year so you'll be able to make all your changes you'll be able to do everything that you want to do and you have you with this with this price for the site builder you get access to unlimited content for website building you also get free support from us from me so you'll be able to contact me with whatever you need on your website whatever you don't understand whatever configurations you you want done if uh, whatever you want to have put into your website um, we will be able to assist you we do offer support so um, you get your three month support with the with the with the site builder, right? For this for this particular uh, uh, plan that you've taken. So um, yeah, so that is what you get, and that is the cost. So that will be your total amount that you'll pay, right? So then you can yeah when you when you're done, then you will obviously put in your you create an account because you don't have an account now. It's pretty. Very quick to create an account so all you need is your your name your address and then your email address and a password right also your contact number that's important and then you confirm your your password and then you create your account so that's how you'll create your account let's just say already have an account so I'll use this account because that's my account so then you you'll sign into your account now you want to save it so okay so now you sorry let me just quickly sign into my account so choose my username and my password okay so this is all for six uh, 620 you get your domain name you get your your website for all for one year and you get support you don't have to do it on your own you do get support from us and then okay so you can either choose with to pay with paypal or you can pay off offline which is you can um, send us uh, you can send with your with this coupon reference that will be emailed to your email address that you've put in there you can um, send us um, the payment to our banking details um, which will be which will be on your on the email that you that you get with this with this invoice so you can do it that way or you can do it through PayPal okay so you'll just click here and then um go you'll send us you'll get an email where you, with the banking details where you can make payment to that is for the offline option and for the paypal option you can use standard paypal which is everybody knows surely how to do the paypal option you can um just pay online with the paypal so that is that is it and then you can create your website and then you can go you can have your your um your products online you can start selling online you can um, make money online and also you can you can create websites for other people so you can try it out test it see how it goes for yourself once you are competent enough you can start creating for other people i sincerely hope you love this video if you'd like to see more please please do subscribe and please please also as you understand uh, creating this video does take a lot of resources and we are still a startup so we would appreciate um, we would appreciate it if you could support us with a donation, with uh, anything you'd like to. You can send it through to us as well. Um, even if you just want to watch our content and um, learn new things about technology, you can go to the, our main website, which is swiftstart.co.za and check out some more content that we've created. Check out our blogs and um, please, please do support us. We would 
it would be highly appreciated we would really appreciate that thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you are excited about creating your own website i hope you are excited about learning um and i look forward to hearing your feedback thank you so much